We enjoyed making our last video about exciting electric vehicles that are on the way so much that we decided to make another one. So here are another five EVs that we can't wait to see in 2020 and beyond. Starting at number one, the Volkswagen ID Buzz. What better way for one of the world's biggest car makers to signal its electric intent than by bringing back a classic? Initially, Volkswagen teased us with the prospect of an electric camper van by releasing concept art and images. But our dreams came true when VW confirmed it would move the ID Buzz into production in 2022. The ID Buzz will be built on Volkswagen's MEB platform, which underpins the new ID3, Skoda Enyaq, and more. In addition, VW predicts it will have a range of over 370 miles and will develop 369 brake horsepower thanks to those twin electric motors. Somehow, this electric camper van manages to be futuristic in ambition, but decisively retro in design. Look at it. It just works, and who wouldn't want one? In fact, a number of journalists have already tested the prototype, and you can find an excellent video on the ID Buzz by Fully Charged when they got to drive it. Lucky devils. Second on our list is the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla's electric pickup made its name for all the wrong reasons, or the right ones depending on who you believe, when the supposedly bulletproof glass cracked during its press launch. Whether you think it was an intentional PR stunt or not, the Cybertruck grabbed the headlines and has already taken thousands of pre-orders. Impossibly fast and incredibly angular, the body is made of ultra-hard, cold-rolled stainless steel and can seat up to six people. The top-spec trimotor version has a range of more than 500 miles according to the US EPA rating, a towing capacity of more than 14,000 pounds, and unbelievably it will do 0-60 miles an hour in less than 2.9 seconds. It might look like the sort of truck we designed as 5-year-olds when given a piece of paper and a crayon, but we like the big, bold and brash style. It's certainly the sort of thing you want when the zombie hordes start arriving. If you want one, then prices in the US are expected to start from $39,900. Whether it will make it to production looking like this for the European markets is a story for another day. But if some form of the Cybertruck makes it onto the road, then we will definitely be giving it right of way. Third on our list is the Dacia Spring Electric. Dacia dropped its concept EV earlier in 2020 and promised its Spring Electric will be Europe's most affordable electric car. That's music to our ears because while the EV market needs more competition in all segments, it is crying out for more affordable options instead of endless SUVs and expensive long-range vehicles. To claim the title of Europe's most affordable EV is going to have to be cheaper than the Skoda City Go, which is already hovering around the £17,000 mark. We don't know too much about the Dacia Spring Electric right now, but we do know it's based on the Renault KZE electric crossover, which is only available in China. That car has a real world range of just over 100 miles, plus it takes a whole seven seconds just to reach 37 miles an hour. So it might need to up the ante a little to truly cut it in the European market. If it sticks to the dimensions of the KZE, then expect the Dacia to measure at 3.73 meters in length. As is Vogue at the moment, the Dacia Spring Electric has a compact SUV design with some rugged looking elements, although we don't expect it to be any good on anything other than tarmac. However, a raised ride height and 4x4 styling is something many people go for nowadays. Dacia, of course, has form in bringing low-cost cars to the market, having had success with the Sandero and Duster. Here's hoping Dacia can bring something genuinely new to the table at low cost. Fourth on our list is the BMW i4. We've spoken a lot on this channel about our love for BMW's i range of vehicles, including the fabulous i3. As popular as that car is, BMW's heartland is the executive saloon market, which is why the upcoming fully electric i4 has us watching closely. Coinciding with a drop in company car tax rates for low emission vehicles and an increased demand for electric company cars, the fully electric i4 is well positioned to take a sizable chunk of this market. 
The images we have so far are the i4 concept, but the full production version is not likely to be that different. And that's okay, because we're really fond of the design, even though BMW's much talked about massive kidney shaped grills seem to have made it over to the i4 for some reason. Aside from that, the exterior is quite reserved, but an electric car does not need to shout about the fact that it's electric and those that buy the i4 will be the same sort of people who currently drive a 3 series or 4 series Grand Coupe, so the styling needs to appeal to them. This is BMW's first truly mass market electric car, highlighted by the fact that it has a large 80 kilowatt hour battery and a 373 mile range. Plus, it will be built en masse alongside the 3 Series in Munich. If that's not a sign of BMW's intent, we're not sure what is. The inside has a more radical, minimalist appearance and that large curved touchscreen dominates. Although, we hope many of the infotainment features will still be accessible through the physical dial because BMW's iDrive system has been one of the most usable in-car entertainment systems for years and we wouldn't want to see that go entirely. Expect the BMW i4 to go on sale in 2021 for around £50,000. And finally for our list, we've gone with something a little bit out of the range of most people, but exciting nonetheless, the Tesla Roadster. Tesla's first step in its master plan was to create a low volume, fully electric car that would need to be expensive. The plan was to drive down the cost to produce as well as the list price with each new model. So 2008 saw the launch of the Tesla Roadster. Its aim? To make electric cars fun and desirable. More than a decade later and Tesla has helped change the face of the car market forever and is preparing to launch a successor to the original Roadster. The new Tesla Roadster, which is slated for 2022, intends to rip up the record books once again with a 0-60 mile an hour time of 1.9 seconds. In fact, it will do 0-100 in a claimed 4.2 seconds and Elon Musk has suggested the top speed would be 250 miles per hour. It will be powered by a monstrous 200 kilowatt hour battery and three electric motors to deliver all that power. To give you an idea of how massive that is, most long range EVs have a battery size of about 75 kilowatt hours and smaller. So yeah, exactly. The original Roadster would run out of juice quite quickly if you were spanking it round a racetrack, so this new version is aiming for a range of 620 miles. That should be about enough we think. You can reserve the limited run Founders Series Rosa for a cool £185,000 or save yourself some cash and reserve the standard Rosa for just £34,000. For that money, we're excited to see what Tesla will deliver. We hope you liked our list of exciting EVs that are on the way. Are there any that you think should have been added? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.